So at the end of John's video, he got a little bit rough showing you the uh, diaphragm fitment being put back. It is a little more complicated than it might appear um, because he does mention the orientation and it is very important. The first thing to know about the diaphragm is that there is this little tab on what would be the front edge. Hopefully you can see there's a little indentation in the body of the carburetor that that sits in. And bring that in there a little bit closer. Hopefully it's a little more obvious. So that's one piece of orientation that you need to be aware of. The other piece of orientation is that on the back edge of the piston are two, you know, air holes. I'm going to bring that up and you can hopefully see them. If I turn it over, you'll see them there and there. That also obviously is important. So you've got the little tab that has to be at the front. But when you're aligning this retaining clip with this at the front, make sure that you haven't spun the piston. You could obviously do it by 90, uh, 180 or 270 degrees off. It's not just the tab at the, uh, oh, can't get that to go back in. It's not just the tab at the front of the carburetor. It's the orientation of the piston. Um, and since you can spin it, it may not be immediately obvious to you um, that you need to pay attention to that. That burned me on the side of the road in Colorado. Um, I managed to put everything back on, but I hadn't paid attention to the alignment of the piston and having the, uh, the holes behind the, uh, or the holes uh, on the side next to the, uh, butterfly. So again, very important that you get the orientation of this correct. Hopefully you can see down in there and see the holes. It's a little hard for me to tell. Um, but those two pieces of orientation are very important that you get those right. Otherwise, you may put a new diaphragm on and the car still won't run.